Okay, so it is a beautiful day here in Winchester once again. We've had a good run of good weather. We're going to do a little bit of a test with the Osmo Pocket 3 in D-Log mode. And we're going to see how that compares to something like the Canon C70 cinema camera, which is, of course, a lot more expensive. I am using this little Insta360 uh, X3 selfie stick to get a bit of extension to give us a bit of a range in the shots that we're going to get. We're going to try and do some really dynamic shots using some of the time lapse, time warp features here with the Osmo Pocket 3, as well as some slow mo and the different filming features like the FPV mode, which has the roll. I'm gonna film it behind the scenes with this Insta360 X3 so you can kind of see what I'm doing. And as an added bonus, I have my one wheel pint here, which is a bit of a cheat, but it's gonna help allow me to get some extra smooth shots. For the gimbal, I'm gonna put the C70 on a gimbal as well. So it kind of compares a little bit more and I'm gonna try and match the focal lengths. Obviously the C70 is a cinema camera that costs a lot more money than the Osmo Pocket 3, but let's see what the image is like. So that was a quick little whip around Winchester with the one wheel and the Osmo Pocket 3. Now let's switch out for the cinema camera and let's see if we can recreate some of those similar shots. There you have it. That is the Canon C70 cinema camera up against the Osmo Pocket 3, which is what I'm filming on right now. I have to say, I'm very impressed by the Osmo Pocket 3. I know I've said that uh, it's not the most ideal adventure camera, but in terms of usability for trying to get shots like we did, this thing was incredible. Being able to put it on this Insta360 X3 pole and use my one, using my one wheel, I was able to get the sick crane shots, you know, and having the active track built into the camera meant that I could put a little box over the statue and over the cathedral and have the camera just automatically track it whilst I focused on where I was going. The C70 and the Ronin, you can do that, but you need to have the camera linked up to the device itself. And it's a whole process, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. I think you can do it through the little tiny screen on the Ronin as well. But once again, you have to connect up all the cables and it's a whole process. Whereas with the Osmo Pocket 3, you just draw a little box on the screen and it does it for you. Given the fact that I could also do these little crane shots as well with having this selfie stick attached to it, it was pretty awesome. In order to do that with the C70 and the gimbal, I would have to attach the thing to a monopod, which of course is doable as well. What I would say is you kind of need two people to operate that. If you had a second operator, then I think, well, there's no doubt about it, this would blow it out of the water. But when it comes to just a one man band, it's incredible how well the Pocket 3 did. Now I'm under no illusions. I totally understand that these are two unbelievably different products in different categories. One is aimed at the professional cinematographer and the other at the consumer. But I still think because I have them both, it's a pretty fun little comparison. Now the footage that you just saw, uh, I did add a bit of a color grade to the Canon C70. There, it, this Everything was filmed in the wide dynamic range profile, which I figured was kind of similar to the D-Log M picture profile. And then I added a, uh, a bit of a color grade to that. Now I'll be the first one to tell you my color grades are not great. It was just a simple color grade in Final Cut Pro. In comparison, the Pocket 3, I have a little uh, D-Log M to Rec. 709 LUT from DJI, which I'll put in, my, in the description below. Aside from that, I didn't really tweak it too much, but I think the main takeaway is the usability for this Pocket. It's so versatile when it comes to these types of shots and having the Mimo app on my phone so I could monitor it was awesome as well. So. There you have it. There's a ridiculous comparison of the Canon C70 
with the Osmo Pocket 3. Um, one last thing, this thing has ND filters built into it. So I did uh, add those on um, because I actually honestly couldn't figure out how to crank the shutter up higher. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment below if you want to see any different comparisons. And um, yeah, also I have all my affiliate links to all my gear below. So if you feel looking to buy some gear and buy them through the link, that would help me out greatly. No pressure, of course, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.